Hey everyone, welcome to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. In this session, we will learn about how to add filters in Excel. But before we begin, let me tell you guys that we have daily updates on multiple technologies. So, if you are a tech geek in a continuous hunt for latest technological trends, then consider getting subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to never miss an update from Simply Learn. Now, without further ado, let's get started with our one point agenda that is how to add filters in Excel. Now, it is really simple to add filters in Excel. So, we are on a practical mode right now. So, on my screen, you can see an Excel spreadsheet of sales data. So, here you have various columns, regions, category, state, subcategory, sales, quantity, and much more, right? So, now let us imagine that we want to add filters on the region part. So, we have south, west, east, etc., right? So, we want to, you know, let us imagine that you want to extract the data of only west region and you wanted a filter. So, doing it manually could take a lot of time. So, using filters will be helpful. Now, select one cell on the headers part and select the filter option. In the data toolbar you, know, you can see the data option in the toolbar right so click on the data option and navigate to sort and filter uh, group and in that select the option of filter now you can see the filters are been added to all the column headers region category state subcategory sales quantity right now we wanted the west category so when you see or when you click on the drop down icon you can see all the options are selected right the central, east, west, south, every everything, right? But now we just want west one. So click on west and select OK. There you go. So you have everything from the west region. Now let's imagine that you wanted to look into uh, office supplies only or technology only, right? You can do the same with uh, technology and press OK. And now you'll have all the technology related sales in the west region, right? So that's how you use filters in Excel or that's how you add filters in Excel. Now with that, we have come to an end of this tutorial on how to add filters in Microsoft Excel. If you have any queries regarding any of the topics covered in this session, or if you need the resources used in this particular session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment section below and our team of experts will be more than happy to resolve all your queries at the earliest. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.